Greetings, it's Andy here. What if you'd like to send a one-off message to a certain set of guests? For example, maybe guests who are with you tomorrow and you want to warn them about a hurricane coming. Or maybe guests who are staying with you on the 4th of July and you want to let them know about a 4th of July fireworks party that's happening. How do you do that? How do you send a message to a certain set of guests and not to all of your guests? Easy, I'll show you how. So let me remove myself from the screen. I am going to go to my memo page and I'm going to create a email template. I could also create an SMS template. I could do both, but I'm just gonna stick with email for now. The process is the same. I'm not going to use one of our standard ones because this is a custom message. I'm going to give it a name. So I'm gonna say 4th of July fireworks. I am going to send it immediately, but I don't want to always send it. I want to send it when the certain criteria has been met. And that criteria is when the guest is arriving before the 4th of July and they are leaving after the 4th of July. What does that tell me? It tells me I'm gonna send it to guests who will be staying with me on the 4th of July. I'm then going to send them an email which comes into their inbox with my name. So I could put my name there. Uh, for those of you who know how to use Memo already, you can insert a field code so that when the guest replies to this email, it will reply to the email address specified in your guide, which is called the guide contact email. Remind that you need to put a chevron at the front and a chevron at the end. I want to put the email subject line when it arrives in my guest's email as 4th July fireworks party. And then I have the text box down here where I can type whatever message I want to send to the guest. So I could say, dear, and this is how you can make it personal. We have some people saying, oh, that doesn't sound very personal when you send auto emails, but you can send guest first name like that. So it will say, dear, whoever they are. And then you can say, blah, 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 whatever you wanted to say. Lots of formatting options. You can even put in pictures, for example. When you're ready, click submit. Touchday will say, oh wait, you haven't included a link to your guidebook. I don't care because I'm not, in, I'm not using this to send them a link to my guidebook. I'm sending them a message about a fireworks party. So I click continue. It also says, oh, hang on. Do you want to send this to all of your current guests or only your new ones? Well, current ones, please. So there it is, 4th of July fireworks. Now, in my invitations, I have all of these guests staying with me. In fact, I have 21. They may not all be staying with me over this period of the 4th of July, but Touchday's figured that out because of that template you set up. I know that these first two guests, Peter Garrett and Neil Finn, are staying with me on the 4th of July. So I can go and check, has that email been created? Yes, there it is, 4th of July fireworks, it's ready. It will, it will turn to send within a few seconds. Neil Finn, let's go and have a look at his. If you edit. Yep, his is there, and in fact, his has already been sent. So we're great, we're good. And I can probably refresh the page and you'll be able to see that Peter Garrett's has also been sent. It usually takes a few seconds for it to go. So there we go, that's also been sent. So now you know how to do that. You can send your guests a message about a certain thing that's coming up that's relevant to when they're there. I hope you found that useful. Happy sending, see ya, bye.